Now I'm gonna share with you what I wanna do with the flounce. I just came back from going shopping. I went to Ulta to get some makeup. Oh, I love getting makeup, it's just so exciting. So I picked up this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I've never tried their lip glosses, but I really, really liked it when I tried it on in the store. I like the color, I like the way it feels, and I wrote down what it is. This is called Honey Waffles. I tried it on in the store, but I haven't opened this one yet. I'm just gonna throw this one in my purse. And then I tried on this, um, highlighter i don't know if you can see it i just came back from the store so i was in there trying on all kind of stuff so this side looks different than this side but i went with this side and what this is is an rem beauty and the highlighter the color is miss venus let me show you what it looks like i was surprised at the way it looks in the container versus the way it looked on my face so it's this like kind of I don't know what you would call that kind of a beigey kind of color but when you put it on it gives off this little gold little color I was like hey I like that so anyway I got this and so this is going with me on my trip and I'm taking you with me also have arrived and we are picking up our rental car which is going to be in D15 oh, D15 there it is there it is oh my goodness look at this this is our rental this is gonna be so fun so cool I'm excited hey now So we have been in Tennessee for a couple of days now and when we first got in we went to the hotel to freshen up a little bit and then I threw on one of my most worn sewing makes and we went to a basketball game. The game was a lot of fun. There weren't that many people there. I thought it was going to be a lot more packed because the game was on a Saturday. But it was still a nice, comfortable crowd and we were able to sit wherever we wanted to. So that part was really nice. So before I took this trip here, I made a top. I just spent a little time looking over this pattern here, which is McCall 7808. I wanted to see when it came out and it came out in 2018, but I just recently picked it up. So I wanna make this view here that the model is wearing and she's wearing view C, which is this here. And I really like how the sleeves are different. There is a flounce in the front. All the views in the back have an opening at the top that is finished with a hook and eye. There are seven pieces that are needed for view C and I will be using this denim fabric. This stitching line is on the front of the top on piece number one. And this is the line where your flounce will match up to. So what I did was I just took some tracing paper and placed it under the pattern piece. I have two 
pieces that are red and one is yellow and then I'm just going to take this little wheel and roll around this line and that way I'll know exactly where the flounce is supposed to go. Okay, so here's how the line turned out. There's the red portion down to the yellow portion. And now I'm ready to go ahead and start sewing. So I interfaced all the pieces that needed to be interfaced. And this pattern is rated as easy. So hopefully it won't take too long to have this all done. I put the neck facing together and attached it to the top. And now I'm gonna go along and do some understitching. There is a dot on the back piece so you sew from the dot down to the bottom to the hem area and then you'll have this opening here at the neck edge and you fold the opening over 5 eighths of an inch so you could do it once or twice and then you'll stitch from here over and then up to this side and then that way when you're all done and you have this facing folded down it'll be a nice clean finish here at the top. The directions don't mention anything about finishing this top edge of the flounce. So I imagine, or I guess you're supposed to just lay it on top of your front piece and then just stitch it down. If I sew the flounce down the way that the pattern is suggesting, this is the flounce for example, and this is the top, then I will have this raw edge out and exposed. So I think I wanna do something different. I sewed the side seams down. I put on one sleeve and now I'm going to share with you what I want to do with the flounce. So I took some wash away tape and I placed it along the placement line for the flounce. And this is the line that I made in red and yellow on the front of the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flounce. So there is a square here and then there's a square there. So I will line up the squares and then I'm going to place the flounce on top of the tape and stick it down. I'm going to stick it down all the way from here all the way down and then I will put this under the presser foot and just stitch it down. So I had to remove this from my machine so that I can get all the fabric under the presser foot. Now what I'm going to do is just line my presser foot up to the edge of this flounce, the end of the flounce, and then I'm just going to stitch all the way down. Okay, so the flounce is sewn on and let me show you what it looks like. When you flip it over, you don't have any raw edges here. And this white that you see is the wash away tape, but that will come off when the garment is placed in the washing machine. Now there are some unfinished edges on this top. The bottom of the flounce is not finished, so this edge here. Also the top of the flounce is not finished, which is this edge here. And then the one sleeve that is also a flounce is not finished. So now I'm at the point where I will be putting on this sleeve here and I am going to use this quilted denim that I had left over from another project. All right, so I did sew the sleeve onto the top and this was long, this was a long piece. And then you folded it in half with wrong sides together. So that was how you got this. So this is folded together and then it said to slip stitch the edge closed but this fabric is so thick I knew I wouldn't be able to do that so I just stuck this under the sewing machine stitched it down then I finished it off with the serger so this is the finished look I just need to press it down and I'm almost done now I just need to put a hook and eye at the top and then hem the bottom so I'm trying to find the area in the room with the best light, but here is the finished top. So the right side is left unfinished and then the left side is finished and this is how it looks with the quilted denim sleeve. And I am wearing it with a pair of Simplicity pants that I made a while ago. I really like these pants and I wear them often. 
so this is how the shirt looks when it's not tucked in I do prefer it tucked in but I don't think it looks bad like this either So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So I recently purchased these bags on Amazon. And they're called compression bags. And they're really great for travel. So I put like three of these in my luggage this time around. So what you do is you fill it up with items. So I filled mine up with clothes. And oh, I asked them to come and fix the air or the heat. Hell, here they are. Hold on. You go. I have been freezing. <laughs> Does it feel colder here to you? Uh. The guy who was fixing the heater, he was so funny. He was like, you're going to burn up now. <laughs> so anyway, I was saying that I filled these bags up. I had three of them and I put clothes in mine. And then after you fill the bags up, you roll them down. You roll the bag up like this and then it will start to compress and then you can get more items in your luggage so this was my first time trying these out and I'm really happy with them I just noticed that I can't fill them up too high because then it makes it harder to roll everything it takes a lot of strength to get everything to roll down but otherwise I'm really happy with these and I'll put a link to these below if you're interested in trying them out